So hi, my name is Roman Campos Soyola and I'm game director on For Honor at Ubisoft Control. What are you guys showing here on the E3, on the E3 show floor with For Honor? So this year at E3 we show the campaign. We show the first mission in the night campaign where you play as the Warden and you get introduced to the Blackstone Legion. And we also show one of the Viking missions where you play as the Raider and you assault that massive Japanese fortress. Talk about the story players will experience when playing the campaign in For Honor. So, the, the adventure in For Honor starts with Apollyon, that is the leader of the Blackstone Legion, which is a faction of knights. And she has built that massive army and she's bringing chaos and war to the world of For Honor. The story is set to a couple of years before the multiplayer and it's all the events that led to the never-ending war that is multiplayer. Can you talk about the combat in the game because it's very unique for a third-person action game. So the fight system is for now was really at the core of the breakthrough that we had with the game. It's called the art of battle. And basically it's the right stick control the position of your weapon. So it's not only where you're gonna be defending, it's also where you're gonna be attacking. That gives you a really raw and visceral experience of the melee fighting. So how many so you can you can parry and dodge and do all that stuff. So how long does a battle normally last between two players? Duration, average duration of a battle is all about the skill of the player and it's also the same with the AI. It's depending how strong your, your enemy go, is, but it can go like a couple of seconds if you're fighting an average soldier to almost a minute if you're dueling a really skillful adversary. Now do AI players come in and interrupt you if you're fighting like one-on-one -on -one with another opponent? If I'm fighting with you and your friend is coming, is he going to backstab me? Yeah, maybe. Well, it's the same for AI. Then of course, there's difficulty level involved and we don't want to beat the crap out of the player in the first mission. So that is introduced progressively to the player toward the, toward the progression in the game. But if you come play the Viking mission, you're gonna see it get pretty tough. Can you talk about the different factions and how they each feel differently? So the three factions, yes, they are different in terms of mood, in terms of character, but each have their own specific fighters. But it's all about their weapons. So you can have swift and agile fighters for the samurai, of course, but you can also have that for the knights or for the, of the Viking, depending on their weapon. And you also have really heavy character, like the Viking with the big two-handed axe, where you can have the same kind of character also for the knights or the samurais. What are some of the environments players will explore in the campaign as well as online, as well as online multiplayer? So on Forno, there is three main environments. There is Asheville, that is the continent of the night. That is that burn and destroy continent with massive fortress. Then there is Valkenheim, the home of the Vikings, that is all about mountain, snow and forest. And there is the Mire, that is the home of the samurai, which is that massive swamp. Do you have a favorite faction in the game and why? So my favorite faction for me is the knight because I'm a geek. I'm all about the gear, the armor, the weapon. That's my stuff. Awesome. When does For Honor come out? So For Honor is coming out on February 14, 2017 on PC, Xbox One and PS4.